بزرگترین، طولانی ترین، بقرنج ترین و خطیر ترین مقاومت سازمان یافته در تاریخ ایران با رود خروشان خون شهیدانش و با آوای بلند مجاهدان قتل عام شده و ایستاده بر سر موزه در برابر صفاک ترین حاکم خونریز این گرده همایی صدای سرنگونی در قیام های پیوسته از دی ماه 96 تا آبان و دی 98 است خروش براندازی در پایان شعبده اصلاح طلب اصولگرا برای حفظ همین رشیم است صدای کانون های شورشی و شهرهای شورشی است که تاریخ یأس و ناباوری را ورق زده و پیام آور توانستن و بایستن است در همای امروز میهن اسیر را در سه سیمای خجستش نمایندگی می کند ایران شورشگر و انقلابی ایران همبسته و متحد و ایران آزاد و دموکراتیک فردا And I do question his religious sincerity. No, no man can be a man of God that is a mass murderer. That's co completely hypocritical. And then he asks people to sacrifice their life for the cause of tyranny. But does he sacrifice his life? He's not, he's not the one going out there and doing the suicide bombings, nor are the fat mullahs who are living uh, wonderful lives off the misery of their own people. This has to be recognized, and it's only going to be recognized with the advocacy of, of a group like the NCRI and MEK. Let me say, therefore, that uh, we have reached a point where we can conclude, after all that has been tried with this criminal uh, syndicate that is holding the, the people in history and culture of Iran hostage, that um, everything that has been tried has not worked. And since the regime in Tehran has proven itself that it will not change. And you can hear in cities and towns all across Iran today a common message. Reformers, hardliners, the game is up. The game is up. It is over. Or simply give us our country back. The Shah, the Mullahs, dictators all. Give us our country back. And the regime is not strong. It is weakening. Today, its allies from Lebanon to Syria and Iraq and Yemen and Gaza are experiencing enormous economic pain and popular unrest. And of course, with the economic situation deteriorating at home, corruption rampant with explosions and fires widely reported, street protests continue to break out in Iran itself. Parce que nous avons des choses en commun. Et ce que nous avons en commun, c'est notre volonté de défendre les valeurs humaines, de défendre les valeurs de la démocratie, de défendre les valeurs de la liberté, de défendre les valeurs de la recherche de la paix. C'est ça ce que nous avons en commun et c'est ce que nous voulons pour l'Iran. Nous voulons que les Iraniennes et les Iraniens puissent, comme nous dans nos différents pays... I want to send my very best wishes to NCRI and to President-elect Mariam Rajavi for her inspirational work on the international scene on behalf of the people of Iran at this very, very difficult time. Of course, we all know that the human rights situation in Iran continues to be appalling. And on top of this, we now have seen the disastrous handling of the COVID emergency by the Iranian government. 
I am here to speak for all those voices which cannot be heard, mothers, daughters, fathers, sons, and Albanian families. I want to say that Camp Liberty in Albania, you are part of our family. You are in our faith. An unwritten law stands back of each one who fights to defend freedom. Mujahideens are not the problem of Iran. They are a flag of the future freedom of their country. Resistance units write graffiti on walls, post messages of the Iranian resistance's leadership in public areas, and torch regime's posters to break the spell of repression. Yeah. 